What up, my brother? How you doing? I'm good, brother. How you doing? Doing good, man. Thanks for jumping on board real quick. And uh, no what are you guys drinking right there? Uh, just like this natural rosé out of Sicily. It's a rosé of, um, I believe it's a rosé of San Gio, if I'm not mistaken. Cool. Yeah, natural mm -hmm. though. What's the flavor profile on that? So you're getting a lot of like kind of bright uh, strawberry here. You're getting like a little bit of like a, a rose petal going on here too. What would you What would you pair that and with? What, what would you pair that with? Frisee salad or maybe like uh, some kind of chicken uh, chicken salad, uh, but light, like maybe grilled chicken salad. I think it'd go really well with it. Cool, cool. Listen, man. Well, thanks, man. Let's, let's jump right into it. Um, what did you learn from this collab? You know, it's a vibe. Talk to me. Um, I learned that when building something like uh, what we built uh, to create this project, um, it is truly a collaboration. Um, it is not something that um, you can do by yourself. You need the you need to include the community, and you know the Bay Area is so vibrant. It's so um, it, it has so much culture out here that um, I think putting those pieces together created this amazing project that we have that we that we've done together. I think having like these cool winemakers, uh, winemakers of color, uh, women uh, winemakers all that in this cool community of the Bay Area, I think it just did a really good job. Of, uh, I think we did a really good job of bringing those pieces together and creating this project. Yeah, I think that what it's taught us because you're on the publishing side, I'm on the cooking side and the winemakers are on that side, but we all had one leg neutral inside the same bucket as to how do we put this project together? How do we put a collaboration together? And how do we learn how to collab outside of what we normally do. You're on the publishing, they're on the winemaking, I'm on the food side, but we had to learn how to work together. And it was yeah. pretty cool, right? It was a great experience. That's, that's what I learned at least, that we all learn something mutually in addition to, you know, each other's industry, which is pretty cool, man. Yeah, yeah, um, I thought so too. What are some of the challenges uh, do profiles or personalities like you or myself or winemakers face in the industry? You know, let's, um, let's talk a little about that because the collab is a voice, but what are some of the challenges that, that you've seen putting this together? Well, for us, it's just scheduling. You know what I mean? Like, I think all of us, because we're minorities, we feel like the need that we have to over outwork everybody else that are not. And so because of that, because we keep our head down and continue to work, just having a step, like being able to have like a moment in your schedule to be able to work together is hard because we feel like, I mean, unless we're making money off this project, we feel like we're uh, doing it on the strength. And um, I think the cool thing about you, because you're very good at like, you know, uh, painting a picture with people. Uh, I think you painted the right picture with a lot of these winemakers who are busy people to want to step in with us and help us out on the strength because they they knew that they could see the vision that you were painting for them. They saw that this is going this collaboration is not just going to be good for me and you, but it's going to be good for the whole community as a whole. You know what I mean? Like, I, I think I think that was one of the that, that the timing and the uh, scheduling is the, it was a huge challenge. Um, also, maybe um, what else? I, there's something else too that was, that's on the tip of my tongue that I that I feel like was definitely a challenge, and I had it a second ago, but I, I was thinking about the scheduling thing. Um, another thing that I noticed with doing this was um, I think what was I about to say? Location? Yeah, location. Uh, being able to have these places to be able to shoot videos and to be able to shoot like uh, photography in for this book. Uh, I think location was also one of those things that uh, could be an uphill fight for anybody else trying to do what we did for, for a project like this. Yeah, I think I agree with you. Challenging and, and uh, being productive or being busy, right? Mm -hmm. I think when it's all said and done, people will look at the book and, and enjoy it. But I think you and I and the winemakers can agree that we enjoyed the process, the journey, you yeah. know, into making. I definitely it. did. <laughs> yeah, no, no I, I definitely did. I think also a challenge in the industry, we're providing that step forward is representation, right? This yeah. collab reflects the community, the Bay, yeah. Uh, yeah. the culture across the country. And so this collab was intentional. It wasn't done because we want to check the box for a holiday or a time frame, right? We said, yeah, yeah. This, this is where you are full time. And I think sometimes people will, will help celebrate or highlight a holiday one time a year when we're like, this yeah, is where yeah. we are all year round. So that's what I learned of, of us helping 
step forward and, and break down those barriers and these challenges, you know? So anyways, give me, give me something cool you didn't expect that you learned that you got out of this collab. Well, I mean, I knew of, uh, one thing I did, cause you know, I'm in the, I'm a, I'm a focus on the wine side. Um, I'm in the industry and you know, I know all these different winemakers and I knew there was some, uh, quite a bit of Latino winemakers, but I really didn't know there were that many and like specifically in, you know, the Napa area and being able to hang out with those guys and, and meeting those characters, man, I had a great time. There, that was really unexpected. The amount of fun I had with everybody hanging out and talking food and like talking wine and yeah, and just, you know, kind of just building together. It was, a, that was one of my favorite parts of this whole thing was being able to hang out with you guys and, um, uh, hang out with the winemakers and, you know, understand each other's culture, you know, have real talk about things. And that was, that was unexpected for me. So it was really genuine, right? Because it was, it was we definitely genuine. Yeah. We weren't forced to get along. We had a lot of similarities when sometimes the majority of the media will portray the differences or the sectionals, right? We yeah. love food. We love wine. We love music. We love laughs. And, and it was great, not just to have good wine, good food, but the pairing and the, the conversations we had, it happened yeah. organically, right? Yeah, definitely organic. Why the name It's a Vibe? Man, it's a vibe, bro. Like, for real. Like, <laughs> when you guys get the book, you'll see what I'm talking about. It's not just about the wine. It's not just about the food that Armando makes these amazing recipes, it's like building flavor and things. It, it's also about the music. It's about the culture. It's about bringing everything together. Like, I'm telling you, when you see the book, and you see the recipes and you see the the uh w the one to three wines that you can pair with the recipe and then you think about our recommended music for it while you're cooking i mean you're in the kitchen that's a vibe right there you're listening to the music you maybe you got a date there to sip on something while you guys are while she's waiting for the food or he's waiting for the food this is it's a vibe it's this is easy this is easy and it, and just that simple those simple little touches on the book i think is why this book's going to be very uh highly touted and people are going to want it. Yeah, I think it's important that we didn't create a cookbook for a certain kind of cuisine, right? Yeah. Because it represents the bay, it represents the culture. If we go out, we have a lot of, you know, variety to eat when we want to go out to eat. So sure. we kind of put this together as to, hey, you know what? Create this product called It's a Vibe, a collaboration, winemakers, a psalm, a cook of color, but it's for the intention of entertaining. Yes. It's for the intention of cooking for friends or family mm -hmm. or yourself. We use air fryers in there. I mean, we use home friendly techniques because mm -hmm. I think when people create that entertainment surrounding, it helps people overcome a bad day. It okay. helps create conversation in like the mm -hmm. most divided society. So it was pretty cool that we came up with It's a Vibe and that was the intention. It wasn't, it wasn't necessarily going into a certain kind of wine region or mm -hmm. a food region kind of cuisine we kind of wanted to represent who we are, you know? Yeah. So that's good, man. I mean, the so, Bay Area is, is totally like eclectic, man. You think about all the flavors that come out of the Bay Area. I mean, we got Latin, Asian, Black, uh, all of us, and we're all in this like tight little area. Of course, we're gonna, there's gonna be a lot of crossover in, in, in flavors and understanding each other's culture. And I think this book does a good job of enhancing that. If food and wine doesn't bring you together, I don't know what will. Real <laughs> Cause, talk. Cause Real you, talk, man. And that's why um, I'm thank you. I'm thanking you for giving me the opportunity to collab with you on this and including some of the other uh, winemakers of color, women and men, man. So, mm -hmm. so thank you. This will be the first part of a three series doc, man. So anyways, man, thank you for no, joining. Thank you. Me. Well, th bro, can I say thank you? Can I, can I say thank you for going on this journey with me, man? I couldn't have got even close to finishing this without you, man. You're, your recipes, your knowledge of business and understanding like where you come from, Nicaragua. Yo, I learned so much about you, man. And I, and I knew you before, but I kind of really got to know you from this project, man. And it was, it was, it was a pleasure, man, for real. Yeah, man. Well, listen, like I said, we're not done, but not I want to more. check in with you today. Enjoy that rosé and we'll see you in the next interview. For sure, man. Cheers, brother. All right, my man. Cheers.